Hello and welcome to another video on the Lego Zars channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make three small swivel wheel designs. All of them are different sizes, one being the most compact and then the last one being the largest. All of them have different advantages, the smallest being that it is the most compact, but it does catch some. The middle one, which is my personal favorite, does take a good bit of horizontal space, but it rolls quite well, and the largest one, although it has good ground clearance, is very tall and can be cumbersome to attach to your robot. Although some have more advantages than disadvantages, I encourage you to play around to see which one is best for your robot. Now let's get into building them. To build the small one, we'll need these pieces. First, you'll need two of these half axle half pegs, two of these, need one three long beam, a two long frictionless peg, a three long frictionless peg, and a small wheel. To start building, slip in the three long frictionless peg into the small wheel, then add on these two pieces to either side. And after that, we're going to add the half peg, half pins into the two holes. and then add the three long beam on top of these. To finish off the design, add the frictionless peg into the very top, which allows it to swivel around. Now we have the small wheel built, and this is a good wheel if you need small spaces. As you can see here, I hooked it up to a small platform with four of them. But it does catch a little bit, even and if you push down too hard, there is a possibility that since the wheel is so low that the back of it can hit. Now on to the next design, which is my personal favorite as I've stated before, has a good combination of ground clearance and it doesn't catch. We'll need very similar pieces to what we needed before. We'll need a larger wheel instead of a smaller wheel this time. Um, again, we'll need two half axles, half pegs, a s two long frictionless peg, a three long frictionless peg, two of these, which are slightly longer than the ones before, and a three long beam. To get started, do the same thing we did before by s putting the three long frictionless peg through the larger wheel. Then attach these two pieces and attach our half axle half pegs into those holes. Now put the three long beam on top and the frictionless peg. And you're done. So this is the design and this one catches a lot less than the smallest one and I made another platform with four of these. The downfall of these is that they require a good bit of space. Um, so you will need a larger platform to put four on than you would without these wheels. Now onto the biggest design. To build this last wheel we're going to need a very different piece set which can also be harder to come by if you have a limited Mindstorms or Technic piece collection. We're going to need two of these pieces which are half wide beams, two of these wheels which are the same width and quite big, two two long axles, a frictionless peg, this type, and one of these pieces. To get started, we're going to put the two long axle through this piece, and this piece on top of the axle. Now, thread the frictionless peg into the top, and we're done with this part. Now, take two the two wheels and thread the two long axle between them. The axle should have an even amount sticking out on both sides. Then st stick it in to the piece, just like that, and add the other piece on top. Now we have our tallest and biggest swivel wheel. As I did with the others, I tested it by putting it on a platform and seeing how it rolled. These rolled a lot better than I expected, but still take up a lot of vertical space. 
Now we have our three different designs. Feel free to pick whichever one works best for you. But remember, each has its own advantages and disadvantages. The taller one has good ground clearance, but does have a large amount of space required. The second one has a good bit of ground space, but not a lot, and rolls the best, but requires a lot of room to do so. So you'll need to put a lot of room on your robot to have these swivel wheels. The last one is the smallest and most compact, but does rub a bit where you don't want it to and can catch in unwanted places. If you have any ideas for new tutorials, tell me and I'll try to make them. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.